Let's have a look at what an incredible time saver being able to do with systems of equations on a calculator will be. This is a systems of equations. It's two equations with the same variables and you are trying to find the one set of numbers that makes both of these true at the same time. On the TI-36X Pro, first turn it on. I always clear mine totally. You do that by holding down the on and the clear button at the same time and it will come up and tell you the memory is cleared and then hit clear one more time. Okay, to enter the system solver menu, you're going to hit the second button and then right here you see above the tangent, inverse tangent button, there it says system solve in blue. So we're going to hit that button. This pulls up a menu. Number one is a two by two. Number two is a three by three. We're going to start with the two by two since this is what we have. Two variables and two equations. Just hit enter or you can hit the number one. Okay, this pulls up a menu that looks like this. We need to enter just the coefficients of x and y and then the constant term on the other side. Now the coefficient of x is highlighted. This coefficient over here is 3, so I'm going to hit the 3. You can either hit enter or use your scroll over button. Okay, the next button is the sign in between. The default sign is plus, but I have a minus, so I'm going to hit the minus button. That changes it to a minus and also moves it over to the spot for the y. My y coefficient is 2, so I'm going to hit 2, enter, and now I'm ready to hit the 6 and enter. Now I'm down here with the second equation, alright? If your variable does not have a coefficient, that's understood to be 1. So I'm going to hit the 1, enter. My plus is going to stay the same, so just hit enter. Now I'm over to y. This y also is not showing a coefficient, so it's understood to be 1. Enter. Now here I have negative 8. So remember, this button down here is your negative, and then you hit the 8. Okay. Now, hit enter, and you're ready. You see now we have solve here. We're going to hit enter, and there's your answer. x is negative 2, y is negative 6. Now that was a basic one, so let's look at what can happen. Let's look at the setup on this next problem. And if you're wondering why I have popsicle sticks behind the calculator, that's to keep the glare off the screen. This is the remainder of the problem that I just did. I want to clear it off. But you see when I hit clear, the information that I input is still in here. So it's best to go ahead and do a whole memory clear, press both of those buttons, and that gets rid of everything. Now we're going to start over. I'm going to hit second and then the system solver. I'm still doing a two by two, so I'm going to hit enter. Now our problem with this is this first equation is not in standard form. If either of your equations is not in standard form, you need to put it in standard form. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the top equation, which is y equals 5 minus 2x, and I'm just going to manipulate it, rearrange it, so that it is in standard form with my x term first, my y term, and then my constant. This is the term right here that's out of place, and it's been subtracted, so I'm going to add 2x to each side. Now I have 2x plus y equals 5. This is going to be the format that I want to use to pick out my coefficients. So now let's enter that. My first coefficient of x is going to be 2. Hit enter. Now I have plus, so I'm just going to hit enter. The coefficient of this y is 1. Enter over here to my constant. I have 5. Okay, the bottom equation is already in standard form, so I'm good to go. I'm going to hit 4. The plus is default. I'm going to hit 3. Enter 13, okay, and it says solve, so I'm going to hit enter, and there's your answers, 1 and 3. Yes, I did have to do a little manipulation, but I was, it was still very fast. Now let's look at another system. The problem with this one is I do not have an x term. You have to put something in. 
So if there is not a variable at all, now if there is a variable, your coefficient's one, but there's not a variable at all here, so you just insert zero x. That's gonna be your coefficient. Now let's put it in the calculator. I'm going to memory clear everything, clear again, and I'm ready to go here. So second system solver, enter. All right, the coefficient of x is six. Enter. I have a minus, so I'm going to change that plus to minus. It automatically goes over to y. 5, enter. 22, enter. Now for my second one, I'm going to put 0, enter. Plus is the default, so I'm hitting enter. 2, enter. And then I have the negative button down here. And 16, enter. Enter again for solve. And there are your answers. Negative 3, x is negative 3, and y is negative 8. Now for a 3 by 3. This is in standard form already, so I'm good to go. We're going to hit second system solver again. Now I don't want the 2 by 2, I want the bottom one 3 by 3. You can either scroll down to it and hit enter, or you can hit the number 2 button. Either one will get you there. Now this looks a little bit different. Our problem has x, y, and z, and you don't see any x, y, and z's here. So if you have different letters, just put them in alphabetical order. If you've got a, b, and c, put everything in your problem in a, b, c order. Okay? We're going to go with x, y, and z. All right, our first coefficient is negative 4, enter. Our second coefficient is 3, enter. And our last coefficient is 7, enter the constant is 25 and I'm just going to continue on down for the other two equations my next one is 2 now I don't have plus and minus signs so you have to give that sign to your coefficient since this is a minus y I'm going to enter negative 1 my last number is 6 and then I have 17 for the constant my bottom one, I've got negative 8. I'm going to enter negative 5 because of that minus sign. Then 3. And then negative 5. When you hit enter, it highlights the saw. And you might want to check your numbers one more time. Make sure you have all those signs correct. And I do. So now I'm going to hit enter. And there you go. Now if you look, all it's showing you right here is the x answer. Where are the rest of your answers? All you have to do is scroll down. x is 1 half. You hit the scroll button. y is 2. Hit the scroll button again. And x is 3. And then you can choose to solve it again or quit. And that's all there is to using the TI-36X Pro to solving a systems of equations.